Hi, I'm Trent Dalrymple, Director of Metro Mortgage Investments. Now, Metro Mortgage Investments is a private residential real estate investor and developer in Oakland County, Michigan. And what we do is we purchase properties, tear them down, and rebuild them. And we have a series of videos that we'd like to show you on one of our projects from start to finish. And it's going to show you how you can also become a passive investor through our company. So let me go to the whiteboard and we'll write down some numbers so you can understand what we're talking about uh, on this next project. Okay, follow me. Oh, here's the whiteboard. So let's go over the numbers real quick. I'd like to do it a little bit in reverse. Let's start with the value. We actually had a licensed appraiser go out and give us a value based on our drawings, the architectural plans, and the site location. We have a value on the finished product of $408,000. Uh, Four hundred eight thousand dollars is going to build a house that is going to be twenty, a little bit over twenty four hundred square feet, three bedrooms, three full baths, two half baths, two and a half stories, framed house, full basement, garage, in Royal Oak, and that's not uncommon at all. Now look at the cost of the property. We purchased this itty bitty little house. It's five hundred twenty six square feet, little bungalow, five hundred twenty six square feet. That's teeny. Uh, two bedrooms, one bath, no basement, no garage, and that's why we got such a value on it. We purchased that house for $75,000. In a neighborhood of homes that can go around $400,000, that's a great steal. But the house really needs to be torn down, and you'll see once we get out to look at the property. The construction cost to get it up to that $408,000 value is going to run about $170,000. And that's been given to us by our builder who's working with us on the project. So the total cost $245,000. And of course, the quick math would be $245 minus or from the $408,000, you end up with a profit of $163,000. So now let's go out and look at the house real quick before they get tear a darn thing down, okay? Meet you in the car. Before I get to the house, let's talk about something that's really important. Location. You know, they're always talking about location, location, location. Well, with this property, we could have gone possibly a half a mile on either side, and we could have lost maybe half of the value when the project was completed. So you have to make sure you're in the right spot. And to get that location, you've got to get a good realtor. And the realtor that found this property for us, he told us the value should be at about 400000 We backed it up with an appraisal. And the appraiser that we use, we've had a great relationship with him over the last couple of years. He's probably done well over 100 appraisals for our company. And he pinned that value down. So we're almost there. And let's walk through the house together, okay? So here we are. We're at the house on Center Street. And this is it behind me. So you can get a good look at and see exactly what it looks like. Not much of anything, but... We really don't need much of anything because we're going to tear it down. So what does it matter what it looks like? Just as long as it's in a good neighborhood. It's a pretty decent neighborhood. If you look around, uh, let me show you real quick down the street. So this is panning north on Center Street. And you can see mostly you know, older 20s, 30s, 40s, 50s, bungalows. Uh, most of them are sided. Don't see an awful lot of brick around here. This is now looking south into the downtown area towards uh, downtown Royal Oak. There's a high rise there uh, that are all condos and lofts. And here we are back to the property again. So there you have it. This is what you get. And this is what we're going to be tearing down here uh, pretty soon. So let me walk you through the property and show you exactly what we bought. And here we are, a uh, little front porch, patio, screened in. This is what's left of the house. Everything's been moved out, but as you can see, not in really good condition to begin with. So it's not worth saving. Here's the, here are the stairs to get up to the second floor. That's it. <laughs> that's, that's, that's about it. So let's see, let's go around, I'll show you. Here's the 
the one and only bathroom. Let me show you more of that. And here is the entry to the kitchen. Here's the kitchen. And uh, oh, then here's the here's the furnace. It's sitting out in the middle of the room next to the stairs. And here we go upstairs. There's a little storage back there. There's uh, one bedroom. Stairs, and here is the other bedroom. Turn around, and this is the other bedroom. Here's the closed off heating. And this is the extent of the bedroom. That's it. Back down the stairs. That's it. You've seen the whole house. So that's what you. <laughs> that's what we have, and this is why we bought it. It was just. Uh, it was a, a property that really needed to go anyway. So that's a little house we bought for $75,000. And the next time I show up, I'll be meeting the contractor to tear it down. So stay tuned for episode number two as the house comes down. That'll be interesting. If you've never seen a house being torn down before, that should be pretty interesting. So we will see you back here next time. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye.